Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next presentation of the session. Ms. Marie Künast, Sales Manager, Business Unit Energy Storage of MANS AG, will present us a lecture with the title From Single Machines Up to Turnkey Solutions, MANS AG, All from a Single Source. Um, Marie, thank you uh, for taking part. We are looking forward to your presentation. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm glad to welcome you to this virtual session. Um, today, we will speak about a turnkey solution for uh, the battery manufacturing, manufacturing processes. And I will introduce you, months and uh, the solution that we are developing and proposing for this purpose. Um, yeah, myself, my name is Marie Künast. I am sales manager. I recently joined the business unit energy storage in MANS AG. Um, starting with an overview of our technologies, um, MANS is active on five business segments. Um, the energy storage, uh, electronic devices, solar, contract manufacturing and services. And we gather over 30 years expertise in um, competencies like automation, laser processes, um, inspection systems and process monitoring, uh, as well as uh, wet chemistry. And with those uh, technologies and uh, core competencies, we are very active on the markets such as um, the automotive and electromobility, the battery production for sure, that's why we're here today, um, the energy um, department and also medical technologies and also the uh, electronic devices. Um, a few facts to start. Um, over 30 years, we have grown. Uh, we have grown a lot. We are today up to 1,400 employees worldwide. Um, yes, we are a global company. For sure, we are strongly established in, uh, in Europe. We have our headquarters here in, in Reutlingen in the south of, uh, of Stuttgart. Um, but we know also that it's uh, very uh, important to be close to our customer. And that's why we also have some sales and service offices in the three continents, in America, in Europe, and also, also in Asia. Um, maybe one, one word to last year, we have uh, successfully achieved 2020 with a turnover of over 230 million euros. Um, Turnkey solution, it's a word you have probably heard uh, a lot during the last days. Um, for us, it has a, let's say, a special meaning. It's um, a combination of three interfaces working a little bit like a gear. On one side, we have uh, our expertise, our experience. I mentioned it over 30 years know-how in battery industry, but also in all automation processes. Um, we have our teams here in uh, Europe. They know the challenges and all the, let's say, the most important topics for European and Western uh, customer. Um, on the other side, we have for sure our partners. Turnkey means also that we are integrating some solution or some um, processes where we there are maybe some references on the market and we rely on them and uh, we work on them uh, in order to build um, um, the most efficient manufacturing solution. And the third inf interface for sure, it's, it's you, it's the customer, it's the market. Um, we have here also strong experience in the battery and cell manufacturing and from your request and your demands, we know how we should adapt our machine to answer also in future to, to the demands. So these three interfaces allows us and are working very close together and allows us to, to deliver some reliable production solution, allowing you to, to de deliver for sure efficient battery system with very high performance. Um, also, we can cover the entire value battery value change from coating up to filling, from cell up to the module assembly lines. And finally, we also have um, scalable systems. Uh, this means uh, we start with an R&D lab machine, single machine, and then once you know your process and um, 
you have yeah you know exactly what you need you can scale up up to the mass production and the gigafactory a little bit more concrete what does it mean turnkey solution um you see here on green color um this is our supplier and partners uh, core competencies, let's say, and in blue, this is machines and uh, processes that are developed and designed by, um, by months. Um, here, what you can see is that, I repeat it, but it's very important, we are going through the whole value chain. You start, you have a role um, to manufacture uh, your, your electrodes, and at the end, you can have a module. Um, we cover not only, let's say, all the steps of the manufacturing process, but you can also see that we always have some alternatives in order to answer uh, to the, yeah, to the needs. For example, if we take the notching, we can have some mechanical notching, we can have some laser notching. Um, if we consider the cell assembly or the stacking process, there are some cell stacking, there are some set folding systems, but also winding. So we have for every single step, again, um, a solution coming from us or coming from our partner that we are integrating in, integrated in a, in a complete line. Um, now that I, that I, I have introduced the story um, months at a glance, I will highlight, let's say, three of our competencies and solutions. The first one would be um, the laser competence here we have in Reutlingen a um, big R&D center. Um, we use it first for our own R&D operation. We gather experience with different materials, different parameters, but we can also use it for you for sampling, for a test, for production. Um, for example, if you need or you want to develop the process, let's say, um, you can uh, rent one of our machine. You will get one expert, someone who is knowing the laser processes. You get a source, um, a laser source, and um, we, we, we help you, we drive, and we, we drive the test for you or the production. And you can finally get results that are very, not only very close to the, the real condition, but in real conditions. Um, a few words about the laser processes there are i mean the let's say all we can speak of course about welding but also notching cleaning cutting drilling um so we have a very very bright um uh, scope of supply on this and as we have gathered this experience we needed our machine let's say for for laser processes and that's why we have developed this pls 500 we have thought it very, very flexible, meaning on one side, we can use it for a lamp with manual loading for heavy um, heavy parts. And on the other side, we can use it for, um, product, for mass production with some robot loading or conveyor loading. Um, there is no good welding uh, process without good, cl good clamping fixture. So here again, we have developed our own clamping fixture to answer to ensure um, zero gap welding and uh, to ensure the quality. For sure, this machine is also or can be equipped with all the material for process monitoring um, and also for um, to ensure the precision of the of the process. So knowing exactly where the weld, the laser focused is, and so on. So this is this tool with the experience we have is um, ensuring some high quality welding results, no matter the material and, uh, or not no matter, but in many, let's say material combinations and uh, many uh, material thicknesses. Jumping from one laser process to another, um, we here speak about tab welding. Um, for sure, we all, we all know the ultrasonic tab welding, and uh, it's a traditional, reliable, and there's nothing wrong with this process. However, it has some, let's say, um, challenges to handle in matter of parameter. You have to, 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 
yeah, to control to control all the production parameter, a um, lot of maintenance uh, efforts, and also some li limits in uh, the flexibility. So only up to 50 foils. Um, you need two trisonic stations to avoid cross contaminations and so on. So this is maybe not the direction where the market is going. Um, and that's why we have developed in our R&D center the laser tap welding. And with a laser, let's say you have one tool, no matter um, the material, if it is nanode or the cathode, um, you can try different uh, type of cells. So um, you have just one single process step and you can weld up to 160 layer. This is a pattern developed by, by MANS. And this is also um, giving less constraints to the to the battery, so it's also increasing the qu the quality and the, the the stability of the process. So maybe the laser tab welding is bringing uh, is leading to a reduction of the total cost of ownership and also to maintenance efforts. And um, last process for today, this would be, um, this is an example of, let's say a machine which is evolving with the market. Um, it's a machine designed and produced here in, in Europe uh, according to the German uh, standards. And it is, you can use it for, let's say all type of cells, for sure the hot case pouch. And in the last months we have heard a lot about bigger cylindrical cells like 400, uh, 46, 800 and with tablets or without tablets. And um, this is a machine which is able to, to proceed, proceed all those types of cells. And it has a very big, um, uh, let's say asset. It combine all the processes for the jelly roll production in just one machine. So for you, it means a smaller footprint, a compactor um, machine, and also cost efficiency, um, which is in a machine which is also made for, for, for mass production because you have a throughput up to uh, 38 ppm for one meter uh, electrodes. So this is really, um, again, uh, following the, the trend of the market. And um, if we go a little bit more in detail in the steps of the process, um, you have um, two unwinding units, one for the anode, one for the cathode. Then you have two laser notching units, one for the anode and also one for the cathode. Um, then moving to uh, the winding units, uh, also with unwinding for separator. And at the end, um, you go directly to the to the top welding. So again, this is um, a machine. You start with a with a roll with a coil of material, and at the end, you have a jelly roll or a stack, and you can can directly move to the assembly of the cell. So, 15 minutes to introduce a portfolio, going uh, or covering the whole value chain of battery manufacturing was a little bit challenging. Um, I hope I did it, uh, I achieved it, and um, to discuss more about um, our solution and to go deeper in detail, I just invite you to visit our booth, and my colleague and I will be very happy to support you. Thank you very much for this really interesting presentation regarding your portfolio. So um, let's uh, start the Q&A for the next five minutes, mm -hmm. and um, I think there are several questions from the audience so far so the first one is here um, where do you see the future of battery technology uh, which processes do you think play a major role in the production of lithium-ion battery cells and modules mm -hmm. so basically i have introduced some of the the processes that we see very important like the laser tap welding because it's uh, answering so to the to the the, the uh, let's say looking for uh, to reduce the total cost of ownership and also OEA, but we have also all the solutions like, um, uh, for example, lamination unit for for the stacking. It's uh, we receive a growing demand on this machine because it's it's faster and you have a higher OEA. So um, this is, uh, for example. Uh, 
one of the processes we see uh, as uh, yeah, very important in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the answer. So another question from the audience. Um, how do you handle the challenge of debris, debris during the laser welding of TAPS? Um, so we have, um, let's say, we have developed uh, some pressure exhaust systems, uh, which is very close to the um, to the process, and um, this is um, bringing, uh, let's say, the the system that we have developed is uh, bringing very very positive results, and um, we have no issue with uh, with dust at the end of the of the process. Mm -hmm. So the next one will be: um, Can you produce different battery cell sizes in one winding machine? And if yes, how do you do that? Um, I, for this, I would just suggest to to go case by case. Uh, it's very difficult to give uh, one standard answer without knowing the background and um, the cells. So here, I would just uh, suggest to this uh, to this person to to visit our booth and to maybe bring more in, uh, more information, and we will uh, answer. Um, we will answer the right uh, the right information. <laughs> mm -hmm. So maybe one last question for the session. Yeah. Um, sure. How do you handle stacking alignment? Um, we have um, so um, yeah for the stacking we have some for sure uh, control. Uh, uh, systems to at the end of the process so for example with uh, x-ray system uh, that are checking if uh, how is the alignment of the of the electrodes um, and uh, we have very very precise uh, system with again vision systems uh, cameras control and measurement system to to ensure it and um, but he, here uh, speaking about the, the yeah the alignment um, for example, a solution like the lamination machine is very, very, uh, is very precise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that's it. So thank you very much, Mary, uh, for for this effort you take here and the lecture. So for the visitors, please get in touch with Marie and her colleagues on the booth of months if you have any questions yes. afterwards. And uh, yeah, so the for the next technical lecture we. Uh, it will be held on 11.5, so in about 10 minutes, from Bosch Engineering and Production Services, with the title from our model uh, on a holistic planning approach to a flexible production system. So jo join us in the next presentation, and thank you very much, and see you there. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah,